everybody welcome to my channel Texas Gal Treasures my name is Margaret and in this thrifting for eBay video I'm gonna be taking you around a thrift store and stopping in a few sections to show you what I would like to find in those sections and what kinds of things they could go for if I flip them on eBay and if you like videos like these make sure you go down there and hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and leave me a comment and let me know if you see anything that you would have picked up or some tip for the thrift store that you like to grab so that we can all continue learning from one another let's get started this is when you come too late <laughs> This was my first time at this thrift store and it was so overwhelming. There was quite a line, which normally doesn't bother me, but everybody really mobbed the jewelry counter. So I ended up getting a few bags later, but I really was kind of overwhelmed. The poor ladies that were working there were really just mobbed by tons of people asking to see stuff in the cases. So I just took a step back and was just looking at what was on the counter. So if you're at the jewelry counter and you don't know what to look for, one brand that you might check out is Brighton. So this is Brighton. The one I was looking at a second ago looked like it might have been a Brighton um, necklace. And if you can get a Brighton piece in pretty good shape, sometimes the coating is coming off the plating. Uh, but if you find a nice one in really good condition, it can go for a nice profit. Here are some eBay solds for Brighton, and I will drop in an image of what the Brighton hang tag or maker's mark looks like, so you'll know it when you see it. Okay. Next, next time I see somebody, okay. right? All right. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. Yeah, right there. Uh-huh. Then what? I wonder if they go to my prize. Get the bell for this yeah. one. She's had it rejected. So I always look at leather pouches like this. I know they seem rustic and maybe even a bit dirty. But there are some leather pouches that can go for good money. Those ones are not the ones I'm looking for. These little drawstring ones that maybe would be used for dice or cosplay or things like that. But there's some other ones that you really, if you see them, can go for good money. They still would be considered like cosplay or something for like Renaissance Festival. So let's take a look at the ones that if you see them, you might want to take a second look at. So these leather pouches that have like a belt loop on them that someone might put on their belt are ones that if you find them for a good price can go for a good amount of money. There are some that are total just all the way the belt all the way around. So yeah, take a look at ones that might go on a belt that have little clasps to buckle them over because those ones can be used for cosplay, Renaissance Festival, etc. Now we're just getting into belts. Hey Pops, what'd you find? <gasps> Hex bugs. Oh, you want to get those to check them out? How much are they? Look at this old metal. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk dolls. That doll is not the doll I'm looking for. I would love to find an American Girl doll out and about, or even some American Girl doll accessories, because even if they are in a messy shape, the dolls in particular, they can still go for a good profit. So here are some American Girl dolls and accessories that, that have sold on eBay recently that you can see. There's a horse. Um, there, quite a few of the dolls can sell for good money. And if you're really interested in learning more about how to identify the American Girl dolls and the differences between, there's about four brands that are all similar, but the American Girl dolls are the ones that really go for big money. So definitely um, hit that subscribe button and the little bell because I have another video coming out probably tomorrow about the different varieties of dolls and what you could expect to get for them if you find them. Yeah, there's, there's two versions I bring and I've not seen that one before. The other one's like solid yellow. I like the two 
So one of the book series in the children's book section that I look for, especially at garage sales, but sometimes thrift stores have 10 or 15 cent books for kids, um, not so much at Goodwill, but mom and pop type, um, I like to find Little Critters and Berenstein Bears. If I can get these books for a about, you know, 10 cents, 50 cents a piece, probably less than 50 cents or so. I like to lot them up and sell them. So these are the little critters. They look like these, I don't know, like a gerbil? I'm not sure. Anyway, they're little critter books. Um, those ones can sell for a fair profit. How much was this? It was like, I think 20 bucks for this lot of them. And then Berenstain Bears are another one. I've never actually sold them on eBay because they sell so fast for me when I list them locally. So I've always just lotted them up. I'll grab, you know, grab them up when I find them for 50 cents or less at garage sales and stuff. And then I will put them on a local garage sale site to flip. But if they sat for a little while, I would definitely just put them on eBay. But I have never had them sit for longer than a week on a local garage sale site. They, they sell really, really quickly for me. So pick those up if you find them cheap to lot up and sell. So I'm kind of kicking myself for not picking up that silk purse. There are some that have sold for a fair profit. I mean, Really, it may have not sold for that much. Some of them went for 55, 40 bucks, um, but there were some others that went for less than that. So maybe I didn't do too bad on skipping out on that silk purse. Got lots of hats. So he looks like he's a skinny puppy fan. That's cool. Two dollar box. <clears throat> So when I look at office supplies and, and books, I look for these leather covered journals and this brand in particular I've talked about a lot called Oberon and they've got these really intricately designed leather covers. They do checkbook covers, journals, calendar covers, etc. So this is a really good brand to look for and let me show you the the mark. So if you open it up on the inside usually there's a stamp that's pressed into it. Let me show you these first and then I'll show you the mark for it so you'll see it when you see it when you know it you'll see it when you see it you'll know it that's what I mean so here it is Oberon designs and it's kind of got that Celtic look to it so keep an eye out for that one I hope you guys enjoyed this one and found something useful that you could pick up next time you are out thrifting, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.